hello everyone and welcome to my channel if you are new here in today's video we bring you Ghanaians who have contributed immensely to the field of science technology engineering and mathematics if you are new to the channel click on the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our forthcoming videos first on our list is professor nina kukweno Professor Nin Akukwenu, who is popularly known as the father of internet in Africa, is a Ghanaian scientist and engineer who has played a key role in the introduction, expansion and development of internet throughout Africa. In 1994, he established the first internet service provider in Ghana and many other countries in Africa. Professor Kweno was born in Accra, Ghana in 1949. He attended Adisadel College in Cape Coast and later got transferred to Achimota School in Accra. He moved abroad and graduated from Dartmouth College in 1972 and received a Bachelor of Engineering degree from the Thayer School of Engineering in 1973. He then studied Computer Science, obtaining a Master of Science from the State University of New York at Stony Brook in 1974 and a PhD from the same institution in 1977. In 1979, Professor Queno returned to Ghana to help break the computer divide with the knowledge he has acquired. He became a lecturer in physics and mathematics at the University of Cape Coast and helped establish the computer science department. He set up the Network Computer Systems Limited, which helped in the development and expansion of internet across Africa. He also pioneered Africa's first internet connections and was involved in setting up major organizations including African Network Operators Group and was a founding member of AFRINIC, the African Numbers Registry. He was the first African to be elected to the board of the Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers and served as an at-large director of ICANN for the African region from 2000 to 2003. He was also a member of the United Nations Secretary General Advisory Group on ICT, chair of the OAU Internet Tax Force and president of the Internet Society of Ghana. Professor Queno received the Internet Society's prestigious Jonathan Postal Service Award for pioneering work to advance internet in Africa in 2007. He was also inducted into the Internet Hall of Fame in 2013, just a year after the establishment of the institution to honor people who have achieved excellence in the development and expansion of internet in Africa. Dr. Isaiah Blankson was a Ghanaian aerospace engineer, scientist and inventor at NASA. He was an internationally recognized expert in hypersonics, magnetic levitation systems, and plasma and gas dynamics. Dr. Blankson left a vast body of work that earned him the nickname Dr. Speed. Born in Cape Coast, Ghana in 1944 and attended Infante Pim Secondary School, Blankson excelled in his studies from a young age and achieved the highest score on the national examination. He received a scholarship to study in the United States at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, where he earned a bachelor's, master's and PhD in aeronautics and astronautics. In 1982, Blankson joined General Electric's Corporate Research Center, New York, where he conducted research on hypervelocity plasma mature projectile launches and gas dynamic circuit breakers. He went on to join NASA as a program director of the Generic Hypersonics Program in 1988 and was named Deputy Director of Hypersonics Research Divisions at NASA headquarters in Washington, D.C. in 1991. He was promoted to Senior Technologist in the Hypersonics Division at NASA Glenn Research Center in Cleveland, Ohio in 1997. Blankson's pioneering work advanced the state-of-art air-breathing hypersonic wave riders and aircraft engine concepts. Blankson's curiosity was legendary as he was always on the lookout for ways to contribute to research areas beyond hypersonics. He was a key contributor to the development of the novel exoskeleton engine that used a rotating drum to power the turbine blades in conventional turbofan engines and in recent years spearheaded work on the use of electricity to purify water. He was tasked with the crucial role of calculating the speed for spaceships which spans over a 30-year period he spent working at NASA. He received numerous honors during his career, including two presidential rank awards, a NASA Exceptional Achievement Medal, and a fellowship in the American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics, and served as a U.S. delegate on a NATO working group on hypersonic vehicle technology in 2006. On November 19, 2021, at the age of 77, Dr. Blankson passed away. Herbert Wenfold is an electrical engineer. He was born in London but grew up in Ghana. His mother, Margaret Ferguson Graves, was the headmistress of St. Michael's School in Cape Coast, and his father, Herbert Francis, was a civil engineer who worked on the Akosombo Dam during its construction and later became the executive secretary of the Volta River Authority. Wenfold's father took him a few times to the construction site where he was stunned by the process through which water from the Dam River turned the turbines that generated electricity. His interest in engineering was ignited. 
He attended Kalek Jubilee School for his primary education and St. Augustine's College for his secondary education. He was so exceptionally clever that the headmaster of his school wanted to jump him from class 3 to class 6, skipping two grades. He earned a Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in 1978 and a PhD from the University of Southern California in 1981. He joined the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers Department at the University of Michigan as an associate professor in 1987, became a full professor in 1992, and was named a tenor professor in 1993. Winfo has made fundamental contribution to nonlinear fiber optics, nonlinear optics in periodic structures, nonlinear dynamics of laser arrays, the propagation of single cycle pulses, and the phases of tunneling. He has published over 130 journal articles, supervised the research of PhD students, and won tons of awards. In 2020, he was named the Joseph E. and Ann P. Rowe Professor of Electrical Engineering for his distinguished record of research, teaching, and service. He is a fellow of the Optical Society of America, the American Physical Society, and the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers. Winfo also has a passion for music. He played the guitar and sometimes the piano in church during his Cape Coast school days. He has his own compositions and still continues to play the piano. Richmond Sapon is a professor of chemistry at the University of California, Berkeley, where he and his group specializes in synthetic organic chemistry. Sapon was born in Bechem, Ghana in 1974 and spent his early childhood in Bogatanga. His mother was a teacher and his father a medical doctor. He became interested in chemistry after seeing firsthand the effectiveness of the drug ivermectin in combating river blindness during his childhood. He spent his free time imagining how chemistry could change people's lives. Sapon's family moved to Zambia and later Botswana in 1986, where he witnessed the ravaging effect of HIV AIDS in Africa. He moved to the United States in 1991 to study chemistry at McAllister College and graduated with Bachelor of Arts in Chemistry. He then pursued graduate studies in Princeton University and received his PhD in 2001. Sapon started his independent scientific career at the University of California, Berkeley as an assistant professor in 2004. He was promoted to associate professor in 2010 and a full professor in 2014. His laboratory, Sapon Group, specializes in the synthesis of bioactive organic molecules with the focus on natural products of flora and fauna. He has developed new synthesis strategies for alkaloids, a family of natural medicines that include quinine and morphine. In particular, Sapon is interested in natural product synthesis for the treatment of neurodegenerative diseases. Sapon is committed to improving diversity within the chemistry community and has supported many scholars in the early stages of their academic careers. He has also received tons of awards and honors. Herman Kojo Chirinhese is a Ghanaian technology entrepreneur and a founder of SoftTribe, the oldest software company in Ghana. Chinri has studied in America and began his working life in Britain. He always wanted to be an entrepreneur and believed that was a way to develop Africa and get wealthy. He said, I didn't have an option in America. I was a black African there. Until Obama, we didn't have a track record of leadership. It will be an uphill battle, whereas in Ghana, the sky was the limit. Also, I'm African. We need to develop here and it's Africans who are going to develop Africa. I felt a sense of responsibility apart from the fact that I thought I would have a brighter future here. He moved from the United Kingdom to Ghana in 1990. Chinri Hesse had no money but did own a computer. With a friend, he began writing programs and selling them, eventually moving from a bedroom to an office. His company, SoftTribe, became one of the leading software companies in Ghana, providing management systems to dozens of companies. One of its most popular programs is HeyJelo, an emergency alert system which instantly alerts the police, neighbors, and local radio stations, sending them GPS coordinates in an issue of home robbery. Over the years, the company has pioneered a number of groundbreaking products which includes payroll systems, enterprise resource planning systems, utility billing systems, point of sale systems, and many more. His project, African Echoes, is aimed at creating African audiobooks for global consumption, such that Africans are in the position to tell their own stories to a worldwide audience. His company won many awards and accolades, including the Guba Award in UK for Exceptional Achievement, the Ghana Millennium Excellence Award for IT, the Ghana Club 100 Award for Most Innovative Company, the SMS App Award of the Year, the Mobile World Lifetime Achievement Award, and the Best Entrepreneur in Information and Communication Technology. 
Professor Ebenezer Lane was a Ghanaian botanist and a plant geneticist who served as a pro vice chancellor of the University of Ghana, Legon. He was a professor at the University of Ghana and later an emeritus professor. Lane, together with his university and faculty colleague, George C. Clegg, was one of the first Ghanaian academics to specialize in botany as a scientific discipline and contributed significantly to the growth of the field in Ghana. He was also a fellow of the Ghana Academy of Arts and Sciences, inducted in 1965. In 1985, he was elected an inaugural fellow of the African Academy of Sciences. Ebenezer Lane was born in Cape Coast on the 28th of June 1931. He attended the Adisada College and did the sixth form at Achimota School. He went on to the University College of the Gold Coast, where he graduated with a first class and obtained the Bassendale Prize. After obtaining his PhD from the University of Cambridge, he returned to the University of Ghana, where he served in many different capacities. Ebenezer Lane was appointed a lecturer at the University of Ghana's Botany Department and rose through the ranks to become a full professor. He later became the chairman of the Botany Department. His research was in plant genetics. During his long teaching career, he served several appointments at various departments at the University of Ghana, including the Institutes of African Studies, the Regional Institute for Population Studies, Department of Geography, Psychology Department, Department of Community Health at the University of Ghana Medical School, Kolebu Teaching Hospital, School of Public Health as well as Legon Center for International Affairs and Diplomacy. He had keen interest in music, including playing the oboe, classical guitar, and the piano. He played at many classical concerts with his friends, performing piano solos and duets, as well as accompanying vocalists, violists, and flutists. Lane passed away in Accra on 19th April 2015 from natural causes. The road behind the university's department of botany was named in his honor. This brings us to the end of today's video. Let us know in the comment section if there are any other Ghanaians we might have missed. If you enjoyed this video, click on the subscribe button, like, share, and leave your comments below. Thank you.